Oh man, this project is a beast. Wait, what are we gonna post on Sunday? Actually, I have an idea. Here at ROA, we actually use our units really hard, if you haven't noticed already. And as you're hitting the trails, you're gonna get all kinds of scratches and dings and scrapes, and you don't wanna leave that metal exposed. Now, if any of you live in states where there's a lot of snow, you know how frustrating it can be when they put salt on the roads, because it just eats metal alive, not only on your units, but your vehicles. And the nice thing about the Explorers, they're built to use in the winter. And one of the products that I absolutely love is fluid film. And what it does is it helps prevent and inhibit rust, which this time of year, you're more than likely gonna experience it. The reason why I love using this product is because you can buy this stuff for around 10 bucks and you can find it at most hardware stores. And it's just super easy. You don't have to have heavy equipment you can spray it wherever you need it. And you can see right here, I sprayed some of this yesterday. I've been using this stuff for years. I wish I would have learned about it earlier. But what it does is it creates a rust barrier and basically coats. It is a little greasy. One of the things I like to do is I'll get a microfiber and just kind of wipe off the excess, but it's super easy to use, relatively cheap and effective. So I usually, go around the unit i'll first inspect for rust spots this unit in particular is mine you've probably seen it on a lot of our videos and i know we've scraped that corner really good so i'm going to spray that but just to show you what it looks like and how to do it you don't have to be technical you don't have to have any experience but it's just a spray and on outside parts you can see there it kind of globs up. I'll generally wipe that off a little bit, but underneath, I just let it sit. That was unexpected. So I've been using this product for years. If you take a look, you can actually see on my frame and my leaf springs. I just went up to Idaho, probably 300 miles up and back, went through a rainstorm and look at it, looks great. One of the things you do have to be mindful of is it's not permanent. So if you take this to a power washer, you can blast it right off. Another thing is it does collect dust. So just be aware of that. Okay, now this is probably one of my favorite parts to hit because hitches are constantly being scratched, especially around here, and they're always rusting. So just spraying a generous amount on this. You don't have to be too careful. Obviously don't put too much on, but this is a great spot to put it. Here at ROA, we're constantly striving to innovate and we want to enhance your camping experience and also the longevity of your units. And that's why I've shared with you this quick tip. I hope this has been of value. Also, comment below. Tell us if you've used this product before and where it works best. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.